Hi everyone, Snowbee here with a quick snippet of news concerning Darkness Falls version 4 for Alpha 20. Today is the birthday of Darkness Falls. It was on the 25th of December 2017, that is four years ago, when Kane the developer started working on the overhaul mod. It was first released later in 2018. Kane stated he was quite surprised how quick 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 went stable. Even though he said he would release the new version 4 of Darkness Falls within one to two weeks after Vanilla goes stable, he did not expect this to actually happen until January sometime. It certainly caught many of us by surprise. For this reason, Kane said recently he would likely only release Darkness Falls version 4 around mid-November at the earliest. However, in a surprise twist today, he announced that in celebration of its birthday, he would release a developmental build for all those itching for something over the holidays. Just be aware, this is a developmental build of Darkness Falls. It will have bugs. You hear, it will have bugs. We have seen with the testers there's missing icons and localization issues. It will certainly have loot imbalance and any future versions will probably wipe your save or may wipe your save. You must also do a manual install of the mod. You cannot use the mod launcher. The link for the download is under the announcements page on the Darkness Falls Discord. You can also check out my description below for the link in the 7 Days to Die community forum. So, you've been warned, play at your own risk, however I know many of you, like myself, are dying to get your hands on this. The next part of this video is a very quick guide to installing the mod manually, so stick around if you need that kind of information. Otherwise, please drop a like, subscribe for future Darkness Falls videos. So the first thing you need to do is go to the announcements area in the Discord. And there you will find the link in the most recent communication from Kane. You'll click on this link and then you'll download the file, which is about three gigabytes. If you're not on Kane's uh, Darkness Falls mod Discord channel, then you can also go to the link in the description. I've placed one there which is to the 7 Days to Die forum, so you can actually get the download from that point as well. Now, you need to make a copy of your 7 Days to Die folder. So, by default, I have my game installed on the C drive and it's under the common, the Steam, Steam apps common folder so this is my actual vanilla alpha 20 seven days to die folder right over here now what you need to do is make a copy now with windows 10 i'm not too sure how it runs with windows 11 but with windows 10 you can just click on this over here and choose to copy and then paste into the exact folder and it will now make a copy of that seven days to die Alpha 20 folder that you have already with the experimental version. Once this is finished, then we will move on to the next stage. But now that the copy has been made, we need to just make sure that we know what it is. So I'm going to change this to 7 Days to Die DF. Now for Darkness Falls, now I'm going to put the Alpha 20 to make sure I know that this is the Alpha 20, 20 version. I have another Darkness Falls just directly below it. That's the Alpha 19 um, stable version that we last had. But this over here, I want to make sure I know that this is going to be my Alpha 20 7 Days to Die folder for the Darkness Falls um, experimental that or developmental version that we're going to be putting on top of this. Right, now you go back to the original file that you downloaded, that is the Darkness Falls developmental mod file, and you've decompressed it, or you go straight into the folder via your Windows Explorer, and you're looking for this file and this folder, and you're going to copy them, and you're going to paste them directly into your 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 Darkness, Fall, Darkness Falls folder. Here's the folder. Go in there, right click and paste. Now it's copying the mods folder and it is copying the icon file 
into the folder. Now I've already put it in here um, and that's why it wants me to replace these. So I'm just gonna say yes, replace for the sake of um, the demonstration. And right, once this is done, you will have a mods folder here as well as that Doctor's Falls icon and you can then run the game. Now I like to usually run the game from the launcher. You can put a shortcut to your desktop um, or you can run the game. Just make sure you don't run it with the, um, the anti-cheat. So just double click on this and run it or like I said put a shortcut onto it and run the game put a shortcut to your desktop and run the game from there and that is it when the game is started you will see there's a version for dev b29 or whatever later version possibly is there um, the music will still be the same as the vanilla version however what is important is you need to start a new game don't use anything from the old alpha 19 also Kane recommends that you don't use the random game generator at the moment. There are some pre-made maps. There's the 6, 8, 10 and 12k that he has already um, already created. Though nothing larger at, at the moment. Well, enjoy. Hopefully give me a like and happy gaming.